Early College is a dual um, enrollment opportunity for students starting in ninth grade. Uh, students come onto campus starting in ninth grade um, and while they work towards their high school requirements they also have the opportunity to reach an associate's degree while they're here on campus. Um, you know and one of the things that makes our program nice is it is a structured environment. Um, as you've seen walking through you know in the ninth and tenth grade year our students are in primarily high school classes um, where they're grouped together with their classmates and things like that. So we're able to provide more supervision and structure you know as they progress through high school and then into their college class. Classes, um, you know, and even once they get to their college classes, they can start taking more of the electives and things based on their interest. Um, and we're even looking to grow into the future to work with students to not only get their associate's degree, but start taking some training and working so, towards some credentials in other areas so that when they graduate, you know, if they decide they might not want to progress to a four-year university or something, they have something else that they can work towards, uh, towards employment. So those are some things that we're working for in the future that, you know, have us very excited. The first two years, um, you know, our students are working, for the most part, they're all working together on their high school requirements. You know, to get them acclimated with the college atmosphere, we do give them one college class per semester. Um, but a lot of times those beginning classes are some of your health and phys ed classes or your computer skills type classes. And then as you progress, you know, one of the things our teachers work with you is what those college expectations are. So they start to ramp up the rigor so that by the time you're in your junior classes, you're, for the most part, all in college credit classes by the time you're a junior. Um, one of the things that we do that's a lot nicer is we call we call them cohort classes, where the college professor actually comes in and works with an entire group of our students. Um, but as students start getting into more of their electives and things, we allow them to take things that are based on their interest. Um, you know, even right now we have a student who's in his senior year who's taken um, some culinary classes and things like that. You know, we have students taking different art courses. Um, and a lot of our students, some of them are on a, a medical track, so they've started taking some of their anatomy and physiology classes and some of their advanced sciences, you know, to see if really the medical field is something they want to work towards. Um, and even right now, we have some students who are in their senior year um, who are already starting to work on some of their prerequisite classes for like sonography um, or even some of the nursing type programs. Um, you know, right now, our counselors are working with some of our students um, to sign up for summers. You know, we have the opportunity to provide some of our students um, going it from their junior to their senior year, um, the availability to take some STNA courses so that through that summer workshop, when they're done at the end of the summer, they'll have their credentials for STNA. So Elyria City Schools, um, you know, has been a, a proud partner in this program since its inception 14 years ago. Um, and Elyria Schools, you know, working with Ms. Slosh and the Board of Education, you know, allows uh, a specified number of students each year to come on to campus. Um, and we go through a selection process each year to, you know, speak with students in the um, middle schools as well as having informational parent meetings here, you know, to explain the requirements of the program and then those families have an opportunity um, to sign up. Um, for the program. You know, one of the big basis is for the program and how it was started was, you know, we're really trying to work with students who are first generation college. So that's like the first priority code that we look at um, when we're selecting students to see, you know, if neither one of their parents had earned a college degree, you know, they get first priority of admittance into the program as long as their grades and things qualify them. Um, and then next we're able to look at things like, you know, if you're from an underserved minority population in a college or whether you're you know, economically disadvantaged you know, based on the state of Ohio. And then after that, if we still have room available, you know, we admit other students who might not meet any of those priority codes. You know, we set a max at 100 students per year um, getting into the program just because we do like that smaller class feel. Um, you know, and I believe that smaller class feel is kind of what's helped us be pretty successful during this you know, pandemic is that you know, we have a lot of different wraparound services to kind of uh, stay on top of students as they're working virtually from home and different things like that. Um, you know, having those virtual study halls where we have coaches assigned to those classes. So to have those extra things to help monitor the students I think is what made us more successful. Plus with having the smaller class size, it's kind of like the students have build their own sense of identity and a community working together. They you know, actually know who their classmates are. Um, probably one of the interesting things I've noticed since I've been here is that we have accepted students throughout the whole county is that you have bring students from different perspectives and backgrounds and then within the first couple weeks of school, you know, you, you see these kids forge new partnerships and friendships, you know, based with kids they would have never met had they not come here for high school.